This is Adi Sharma Solution Class 12th Chapter 9 Continuity VSAQ means very short answer questions Define continuity of a function at a point So in a very uh, you know normal language if this is a road and if you are traveling and if you are reaching from point A to point B without any discomfort when you are without any breakage that is called the continuity but if the road is uh, broken somewhere you have certain problem you have to change the route so this is discontinuity so in a graph if the graph can be made without lifting your hand that is supposed to be a continuous graph or function but this kind of step function these are discontinuous mathematically the continuity is defined like this that if you say that any point a in a domain domain means certain it can be domain can be minus infinity to infinity so it certain boundary is being provided for example from 5 to 9 just an example that if you can say if you can check that it is let's check at 6 when x is 6 call it call this 6 as a so when x is a in this case x is 6 this function fx, which are which this function is defined for say 5 to 9, then the limit x tends to a, that is x tends to 6 in this case. If we apply this limit on this function f, if you can say that x tends to a, fx is equal to fa, that is if this function is x square plus 1, then we can find f6, and that is, or say f2. Any value, I am just saying, it can be any value. It, ha it has to be, this f6 should be equal to limit x tends to 6 fx. Or if you take some other domain, f limit f tends to, x tends to 2 equals f2. So in order to check for 6, that is a, you have to go a bit, uh, you know, behind, that is 6 minus x, h, and just uh, a bit forward, 6 plus h. That is the left hand limit and right hand limit should be equal and that should be equal to the value of the function at that a. So we'll limit fx, if you are taking left hand limit you write x tends to a minus, if you are going a, a bit uh, forward limit x tends to a plus that you have to in, uh, find out and that needs to be all these left hand limit and right hand limit they both are equal and they are equal to the value of the function at f or a. That is the value of the function at a should be equal to the limit and that defines the continuity of a function at that point. What happens to a function fx at x equals a? Now limit x tends to a fx is equal to fa. So what happens when fx at x equals to a this is there? We have just seen the definition of a function. So this is the definition of continuity. So fx at a certain value a if the limit of this x when it tends to a is equal to the value of the function at a that is fa. So this fx is a function defined in this domain. Sometimes a function can be like this. So that a point, that particular point where the limit has to be checked, that is, you know, on the left hand you go, on the right hand you go a little bit. And if those both value, left hand value and right hand value, they are equal and they are equal to the value of the function at a, that is the point we are checking. It may be a point of discontinuity because left hand limit, right hand limit are not matching. But if left hand limit and right hand limit are matching and that is equal to the value of the function at a, that means continuity is there. Find f0 so that fx equals x by 1 minus under root 1 minus x becomes continuous at x equals 0. Now if this is continuous, what does it mean? It means we have to check it at 0. So limit x tends to 0. This f function fx basically is equal to f 0, the value of the function at a, a is 0 here. 
So f0 is equal to the limit of the function at 0. Okay. So what do we do? This function is what? Since we have a root in the denominator, we can uh, remove the root in the denominator by rationalizing it. How do we rationalize? x by 1 minus under root 1 minus x, we multiply numerator and denominator by the positive of it. That is 1 plus under root 1 minus x and 1 plus under root 1 minus x. That is what we are multiplying numerator denominator. Now what will be the benefit? The denominator will be, the root will be removed. So x into 1 plus under root 1 minus x. Denominator we have a minus b and a plus b. So it is, it has to be equal to a squared minus b squared. So 1 square is 1 minus under root 1 minus x whole square is 1 minus x. So just write 1 minus x. So in the denominator you, you got 1 minus 1 plus x, 1 1 gets cancelled, x is there, x is in the numerator also. So you can just cancel these two and the numerator just have 1 plus under root 1 minus x. So this is fx and limit x is tending to 0. Limit x is tending to 0. So just apply 0 here, under uh, 1 plus under root 1, 1 plus 1 that is, it is equal to 2. So this is nothing but this fx at limit x tends to 0 should be equal to f0 and which is coming as 2. So f0 equals 2, the function fx becomes continuous at x equals to 0. If fx equals x by sin 3x is continuous at x equal to 0, then write the value of k. So x by sin 3x when x is not equal to 0, it is k when x is equal to 0. So if the function is continuous, we know, because we are going to check it at 0 in this case. So limit x tends to a, a in this case is 0. The value of the function fx limit is equal to the value of the function at that 0. a is 0 here. So limit x tends to a, fx should be equal to fa. a in both case, in case is 0. So x tends to 0, limit x tends to 0. When we have x tends to 0, so x is not equal to 0. x is tends to 0 means it is not exactly equal to 0 but just near to 0. So we have to take x not equal to 0, so x by sin 3x. Now we know that sin theta by theta limit theta tends to 0. What is the value? Limit theta tends to 0, sin theta by theta is equal to 1. So we will apply it here. So we have this x sin 3x multiply numerator denominator by 3. And then you can take the limit. Uh, what you can do is you can bring this 3x, 3x down to the denominator. So you can write it as 1 by 3 1 sin 3x by 3x. So this 3x we have the denominator. Now let's apply the limit. x tends to 0. Limit x tends to 0. Numerator is constant anyways. So sin 3x by 3x you have sin 3x by 3x you have to apply the limit 1 by 3. Limit the numerator will be 1 and denominator will be sin 3x by 3x that is going to be 1. So numerator is 1, denominator is 1, only 1 by 3 is remaining. But by the definition of continuity, it has to be equal to f0. This is when f0 is what? When the value of uh, 0, when x is 0, it is equal to k. So f0 is k. And what is the limit? We just found it to be 1 by 3. So k has to be equal to 1 by 3. K should be equal to 1 by 3. If the function fx is equal to sin 10x by x, x not equal to 0, is continuous at x equal to 0, find f0. Okay. Now same way we will proceed like this. It is sin 10x uh, x, so limit x tends to a, fa, oh sorry, fx should be equal to fa. What is a in this case? It is 0. So limit x tends to 0. f x is equal to f a. a is in this case is 0. So we have changed this a to 0 because in this case we have to find out for 0. 
सो साइन टेन एक्स बाय एक्स विल टेक द लिमिट सो मल्टीप्लाई न्यूमिनेटर डिनोमिनेटर बाय टेन ओके ना अप्लाई द लिमिट यू नो बाय प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो साइन थीटा बाय थीटा लिमिट थीटा टेन्स टू जीरो इज वन सो टेक दिस टेन आउटसाइड अप्लाई द लिमिट फॉर दिस लिमिट एक्स टेन्स टू जीरो सो एक्स टेन्स टू डू जीरो टेन एक्स इज ऑल्सो जीरो लिमिट थीटा टेन्स टू जीरो साइन थीटा बाय थीटा विल बी इक्वल टू वन सो दिस होल इज वन यू गेट टेन सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वॉट एफ जीरो एफ ए और एफ जीरो दिस इज योर एफ जीरो एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू इक्वल टू टेन दिस यू आंसर सो दिस वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इन द नेक्स्ट डिस्कशन टेन दैन थैंक यू सो मच टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ